I needed to have like a counterpart to the Flying V of Rudolph. And Flying V and Explorer really look very flashy. Those are the two most flashy guitars Gibson ever made. They are the originals for all the guitars that came later, the heavy star shape or whatever. Those two guitars, the that's, ones. yes, the futuristic ones from the uh, late 70s. I think the first prototype of the Explorer, I saw one one day, it was from 1957. And they were like published in 1958 and um, built also in 1959. Very few explorers, super expensive today, if you find an original. And there are so many fakes around, be careful. And um, Flying V, a few more, or a lot more, but still very valuable. And so I picked the Explorer because of that. So it gave the band a look. When Rudolf and I, we went to Austria once uh, to record in the late 90s, they'd never seen anything like it because we brought not all of the guitars, but a lot, like a truck full. And it was like a nice, you know, there's no guitar store in the world that has what if we put our uh, top guitars in one room. You know, all the vintage stuff, the Flying Vs, the Explorers, the, the Spalls, the ugh, ES335, like 59, 58, everything. Yes, I played the V guitar in the studio and I, had a, I used to own a couple of medallions from the early 70s, very nice sounding guitars. Um, yes, I did for a couple of solos. And um, I remember only recently we were rehearsing and I was expecting, you know, the crew had set everything up and, but there was none of my guitars in the studio. So we played the set and I borrowed one of Rudolph's, so, you know, but we were standing up. So, you know, if you sit down, you can't play the guitar. <laughs>